This is how you make your own Union Jack story planner. First, take one corner of your piece of paper and hold on the far edge and fold corner into edge. Make sure you have a sharp point like a sword in a story. Fold your sharp edge so that you have a sailboat. Then capsize your boat. Bring the rectangle at the bottom up into the sail. So you have a little triangle there. Now, the clever bit, you might want to do this with a ruler. Make sure your fold is crisp and hold on both sides and you should be able to tear neatly down your fold. Like so. Hold as near as you can to the tear, wherever you tear, and ta-da! You have a square, or a kite, or a diamond. Now, fold that the other way, so that you now have a square with an X. Fold lengthways as a rectangle. Fold one more time as a small square and then unfold a Union Jack flag and everybody will be able to tell what that is now because we have talked about it so much. Union Jack flag will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. When making your story make sure you have one detail at least per triangle that you have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight details in your story. Think of it Starting here with your hero, going along to try and get to what your hero wants to get to, and lots of things coming in the way from below and above. And a story with person getting somewhere and things getting in the way is a great story. And that's how you make your Union Jack story so here planner. is our Union Jack story planner. Now what if we were trying to tell the story that I told most schools of the Scottish tailor, of the Swift tailor from Edinburgh? So we might start with our tailor. Our tailor is here. And our tailor is trying to make a pair of trues. Trousers that go high up to the belly button. To get there, he has to sit in the most haunted church in Scotland. Which is populated by a giant who starts appearing through the floor, saying, Do you see my mighty head? Do you see my mighty neck? Do you see my mighty head, neck and chest? And so on, appearing through the floor of the church. Finally, our tailor decides he's scared and decides to run away from the ghost. Help! The ghost tries to tempt him to come back and walks, a giant ghost walking through Edinburgh, trying to chase our hero. Urgh, scary ghost. And the only thing that can save him is he finds the Lord of Edinburgh's castle. And inside it, he is safe. And the ghost gives up and goes back into the church and puts his mighty head and his mighty chest and neck and feet and legs down into the ground and goes back to his rest. And the tailor brings the trousers to the Lord of Edinburgh and gets his 100 gold coins. And that is the story of the Swift Tailor.